Yo, what's up, man? Uh, I'm very happy to see y'all. Very happy to see this. Uh, but truth be told, I'm not too happy, man. Um, I, I, I had received my tax return earlier this week and uh, I pay, put put 900 of it to, to the credit card. You know, to the credit card debt. Just paid 650 bucks, man, for the veterinarian, for all their stuff. So if I seem a little down, that's that's really the only reason why. It's just money, man. It's just money. But another brand new Crosco strain. They've pretty much put one at the dispensary like almost uh, once a week. It's literally been a whole month of getting to see uh, new cultivars from them. And I have Papaya Power Indica rest label i don't know the genetics on it right now big surprise right but we are going to get that first sniff i've got a total cannabinoid 22.5 22.5 for the total cannabinoid first indica strain in a while in a rile i just said in a rile so the first indica strain in a rile. Let's sniff this bad boy. Papaya power. Um, When I hear papaya, I think back to the gold leaf days before Verano, and I remember their papaya. And uh, I wonder if we'll have a similar terpene profile here. <laughs> Fucking kill me. Sealed. Sealed, man. It's been a little bit of time since we've received a, like, broken seal or just <laughs> no seal on their product. But, um, let's hit it, man. I think I already smell it. Yep, I think I do. Undoubtedly. Wow, that is um, not that old papaya terp that I uh, told you about. That's something new, man. I'm not detecting really any fruit. Any, yeah, I... Yeah, man. If anything, mint would be the very first scent that I'm picking up from this. Oh, without a doubt. This is a minty son of a gun. What are you growling at, dude? Yeah, truth be told, if there's another scent in there, it would be pine. But, yeah, dude. Someone puts that in my face, I say, ooh, wintergreen, minty. Hmm, okay, what's up? <laughs> Nice, man. Nice. Uh, I've got the sun literally illuminating this jar. Uh, won't you join me for a quick peek? We got that light green mint, dude. We've got that light green mint. I will say this is a... um. Like I said, this is going to be the first indica strain in a while. I can already tell just such a, um, like, lack of lemonine. We do pick up a lot of strains here on the channel that will have that lemonine, especially, uh, you know, falling under the category of, like, sativa-dominant hybrids. But this does not have it. This does not have it whatsoever. And, my God, man, I'm so ready to smoke this.
So everyone said online, some light green buds. I knew with a little bit of illumination, we'd have some other things to talk about. This one in particular really shows a uh, variety in its colors, but do check that out. Oh man, does that look great. There's just nothing better than darker cannabis flower when it's been covered in trikes. Like, come on, man. Come on. But really, um, and has been... And has been... For several reviews, one of the most important parts now is breaking this down. Honestly, guys, the first sniff will never go anywhere. It's, I mean, it's what we do. But really, really when it goes through the grinder, that's when I think we start to truly understand. But hey, man, what a beautiful flower. What a beautiful flower indeed. Papaya power, what do you got? Dude, this is what I'm talking about, man! Oh, such a stink! Just... A, a GMO stink has just fucking uppercutted through this. Let's go, baby! Like, dude. Mm, let's fucking go! The bud has transformed. This is what I was telling y'all, man. This is the shit that gets Kush no Ketchup excited. In my cold, dead brain, this is the type of stuff that gets me excited. Stuff is fresh, man. Stuff is fresh. Sticky as hell? No. But just giving that a little squeeze, you will smoke. You will smoke, you son of a bitch. Okay, let's get the hell outside with literally these last, like, milliseconds of daylight. Let's get this papaya power. I'm hoping for a great indica effect. This is some of the smoothest weed I've ever smoked. Dude. Flavor. In regards to effects, I, truly a few minutes after, I don't feel anything. But I can say, wow, that was smooth. I, um, I have not smoked weed in 24 hours. That's only to say respiratory wise that would mean it's be a little little harder a little bit more difficult for me to especially take full rips zero zero issue i also i have not coughed i do not even have an inkling to cough that's crazy man like that's by no means a channel first but seriously, I didn't, I didn't smoke weed this morning. Wow. I must say, <clears throat> there you go. I must say, uh, I'd actually do uh, feel a feeling and it's, it's definitely one of like a numbing. I, I know it's a little too cold out here, but it feels good to be in the cold right now. For sure. Feels great to be in the cold. Loud ass bird. I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling great. Uh, silly. I'm feeling silly. That's confirmed. <laughs>
<laughs> I think I've died. <coughs> I don't like this bong, man. I don't like this bong. That same super relaxing wave has definitely overtaken me. But I will agree with some other comments. A more mild high? You guys have heard me say like screaming sativas, roaring highs. Nah, the same one of them, man. The same one of them. I'm sure you can notice my eyes are a bit lower. I feel so cozy. I feel just so ready for a night in. I don't really feel motivated to do anything physical, but I'm not sedated. I'm not sedated at all. But yeah, I guess you could describe this as a milder high. Okay, it's like 5.30 in the morning. We're gonna use the lightsaber, but more importantly, um, I really gotta know, Papaya Power, are you just a milder smoke? Or is a wake and bake like this still gonna rock me like the rest of them? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's still gonna be pretty relaxing, truthfully. Fried the whole thing. Well, how funny that I talk about the smoothness and then just die like that. Oh my God. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm glad we're out here. It's not raining. I mean, it was, but you get the vibes. You remember this morning I said, uh, hey, when I come back from work, we'll talk about the, the final thought. I never do that. I never, uh, I'm never talking about the final thought before truly the nugs have all been smoked. And I still got one, uh, like the largest nug of the papaya power left. However, final thoughts happen when we know the cultivar, when we just, we know it and we know what to give a, uh, not even a rating, but just a, a summary. And my summary of papaya power is, uh, finally, I think I have an option in my smoking arsenal that's literally a relaxing, carefree, what am, what am I trying to say? Because when I say relaxing, you could think of so many other strains. With Papaya Power, you finally have a chill laid back option. I say you finally have one because um, this is the first bud I've smoked in a while to literally be able to look up and say, yeah, that's not the strongest. Dudes, several of my previous videos, I've said, this is the highest I've been on camera ever. Like clearly, genetics been rocking your boy. Papaya Power didn't do that. I was never ever sleepy, but I would never was hit with that just, oh Jesus, stimulating God, I am so, here alive invigorated no no just right in the middle man i am happy that i get to smoke papaya power right now i'm not off saying that and going like oh i have this lackluster flower waiting over here that's not the case that's not the case it's just it it's not gonna knock me out and it's not gonna have me going crazy but guess what that's good <laughs> that's awesome i need things like this 
I need strain varieties, but I more so I need effect varieties. Papaya Power will always be my recommendation to someone to come up and be like, yo, what up, Kush? Need a wreck. I don't be doing them sativas, man. And truth be told, I got stuff to do. I'm not trying to knock out papaya power. Like, box checked. Don't even need to think about it twice. I hope that description allows you to understand where I'm coming from. This is a true anytime bud. Yeah, anytime weed. I used to say that. I used to say that. This is weed for any time of the clock. And I don't experience that a lot or ever somebody let me know in the comments if i've made a similar comment to that before but uh seriously i think uh i can say right now this is the strain papaya power to keep uh keep at your bedside for all times wake and bake right before you go to bed come home from work i think those are three major medicating points for me papaya power worked for all of them that's what i got man I enjoyed this smoke, and uh, I really enjoy that Cresco's just throwing these new genetics at us. So that's what I got, man. Papaya power, you should go grab it. But until next time, dude, I'm Kushno Ketchup, and I'm out.